everyone, I'm Gretchen mullen Savitsky. I'm the president here at NHTI Concourse Community College for your weekly vlog. Starting off with student success, I'd like to acknowledge Mary Jean Byers as well as Jay Wolf Kenich. They were the winners of the Chancellor's Awards that we were announced this week on Monday. Mary Jean won the Chancellor's Award for Teaching Excellence and Jay won the Chancellor's Award for Service Excellence. So huge acknowledgement for them. Of course, their work leads to student success and the achievement of our college's mission. So I wanted to personally and publicly congratulate them again for these distinguished recognitions. Congratulations. I would also like to let you know that we're going to be celebrating our Student Success Recognitions Awards virtually this Monday. Um, you will be hearing more about the virtual award ceremony, so you'll get the link for the YouTube uh, announcement on Monday. So let's try to share this out widely to all, wild, widely to all of our students. The greatest way to celebrate student success is through commencement. And this is just, of course, an acknowledgement for all the hard work that the commencement committee has been doing to get things just right and perfect for our commencements next week. We have those three days of commencements on May 19th, 20th, and the 21st. We'll have seven of them. They'll be in the hybrid format. People can attend on site at the Grapponi Conference Center, or they can also attend online for the, through the live streaming. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I really look forward to having the students cross that stage. That's like such a wonderful moment uh, for our students and for all of the faculty and the staff, all of us who have worked so hard to make sure students are successful. The second thing I'd like to talk about is our institutional sustainability and effectiveness. This was announced at our, our All College Day on Monday, but NHTI's five-year, fifth-year accreditation report was accepted by the New England Commission of Higher Education, NETCHI. NHTI was committed for our candid and thorough report, so we're really pleased about that. And the next report will be due in five years from now, so in the spring of 2026. We'll be completing our self-study between now and then. And we need to give special emphasis on success in implementing a com comprehensive approach to the assessment of student learning and using assessment results for improvement of course programming institutional level that's the first thing the second thing we need to do is we need to focus on our institutional efforts to close racial equity equity gaps including the co-requisite gateway courses that we've been working on so we have five years to do this good work and important work so we're rolling up our, our sleeves and we'll be we'll be starting this work Wanted to also let you know that I'm actually going to be reducing our, the number of, of weekly vlogs this summer. Um, so the faculty are away and the staff, I'm still going to be sending out vlogs, but they're not going to be weekly. So don't be surprised if I don't send a vlog on a Friday. Um, and as you know, these vlogs are all broadcast on Conquer TV every Saturday. So Conquer TV will be seeing you a little bit less regularly in the summer. Diversity, equity, inclusion, this pillar, <clears throat> very excited to share, of course, that everyone should know this, that May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Month, Heritage Month. So of course you've heard AAPI. So what we're doing is we're celebrating this by, by learning more about AAPI perspectives, reading their narratives and exploring their history. So what better way to do this than to pick up some new titles from our library collection? So our library learning commons is open starting June 1st, Monday through Friday from eight to four throughout the entire summer. Some of these titles are, this one I think that looks really cool, I might read this one, uh, Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zavner. So that, that looks kind of cool. Another one is Interior Chinatown, but it's by Charles Yu. We have Eat a Peach by, oh, I can't even read this author. It says by author, so we'll have to find out what that one is. Um, and then, of course, there is A Family in Six Tones by Long Ku and Harian M. Long Ku. So there are few, there, we have many other uh, parts of our collection, other books from AAPI authors. So be sure to pop in, get one of these books, read it, and, and share your perspectives with us. So let's celebrate and enjoy May and, and every month as um, Asian American Pacific Islander Month, Heritage Month. Okay, have a nice weekend, everyone.